This is called the Southern Valley Trails, otherwise known as the Mike Harris Campground Trails. And they begin in the southern end of the Tetons, um, right on Highway 33 leading to Jackson Pass, basically just before you get to the state line. And you turn off at the Mike Harris um, Campground. And from here, then there are two loops we're gonna do, the Yeti Loop and then the Campground Loop. The Yeti Loop is on the north, we're going to do it first, and it's beautiful. The trails undulate up and down and around corners, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. It can be a bit challenging because there's some elevation change, um, but it's nothing that you can't handle if um, you're familiar with the cross-country skiing or the snow is slow. On a fast snow day, it might be really, really challenging. But um, on this day, it was a fast snow day, but we were able to handle it. Now, interestingly, there was also a race that day. So we had to make sure we got off the trails before the fast skiers came through. So the Yeti Trail is this first one. And then we came back basically to the parking lot and did a campground loop. And the campground loop, well, truth be told, it goes through a campground, but it's also very nice. And it's basically a gentle slope up and then a gentle slope down. So you never really get out of control. You know, to get there, you drive on Highway 33 until just before you get to the state line. And then as we get to this point of the mountain up here, we're going to look for uh, the Mike Harris Campground. And here we are. So this is the Nemo Loop of the Mike Harris Campground. Freshly groomed, first one on it. So not too cold today. Conditions are a bit fast. We'll see how the downhill goes. But it looks like they're having a race here. So. We might get interrupted a little bit on our ski. First little downhill bit. We'll see how fast it is. Not bad at all. First climb up. And uh, you definitely have to push off a bit. But uh, it's not too hard. You don't have to scissor or anything. So the uh, downhills in my carriage are actually pretty steep and they have curves in them and when the snow is fast like it is today it could get a little bit dicey so i'm just going to point my skis straight down and hope for the best Haha, I live. Another downhill. I really don't remember how steep this one is. Oh, good, we have a nice run out. There we go. That was fun. I love how this trail just kind of meanders its ways through the woods, up and down, back and forth. Another little steep downhill. <clears throat> Definitely snow plowing. Some of these little pitches are quite challenging. You have to use uh, all of your tricep strength because the snow is so slippery. Uh, yes, got it. Ha ha. So pretty today. What a glorious day, huh? 
What a glorious day. <sighs> this last corner's not too bad because there's one run out. Hello. Beautiful, beautiful. What a gorgeous day. I love my Karis. I never stops giving. Now that we finished the Nemo loop, now we're doing the actual campground loop. And this is a single loop. With Nemo, there's a couple options. With campground, there's really only one loop to do. And uh, parallels the road and the river. It's nice. So the campground loop goes through, well, a campground. Yeah, pretty day, huh? I know I do. Hill segment. All that uphill, we have to get it back somehow. See, it can go pretty quick here, and the corners are challenging. This is not a course for a beginner cross-country skier on fast conditions like this. Oh, look at it. I love when the sun comes through and lights up the trees. I think I just filmed this so I can get a crash video. Haha, -ha. not today though. There we go. So that's the Mike Harris campground loop. Um, it's a bit of a challenging cross country ski, especially on fast conditions, but it is beautiful. If you are new to cross country skiing, I suggest you start some of the easier trails first, but uh, it's definitely something to work forward to.